Hi guys and welcome again to the JavaFX tutorial and today's video will be about quadratic curve 2 which is another path element and uh, another operation with shapes which is uh, subtract okay using these two uh, uh, components we are gonna finish the, the, the wheels we're gonna give more detail to the wheels of our car Okay, so we're gonna focus on creating these holes here, black holes here. Okay, and we're gonna use these two uh, elements, these two, uh, well, this element and this operation. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so here we are in Netflix again, and uh, where here we have a, a, a picture of our of the wheel. Uh, this is the result that we want. We want to add some detail to this uh, wheel that we have uh, done in the previous video. Okay, so we want to add these four holes here to the wheel. So in order to do that, we're gonna define a path element, a path uh, object uh, for each one of these holes. And we are going to create also the path elements uh, required for this this shape okay so the first step will be to define a path and then we want to define the starting point of this path which is this one here Okay, so once this is done, now we want to uh, create this curve here, this curve shape here. So in order to do that, we're going to use a quadratic curve to uh, object. Okay, so the class is quad curve to. Okay, so how do we define the shape of this curve? Okay, so this is uh, another path element, and as the other path elements that we have seen before, we have the method set x and set y, and these methods will help us to define the um, the, uh, the ending uh, coordinate or the ending point of this path. It can be either this one or this one. Okay, and also, um, we have a control point. In this case, in the quadratic curve, we only have one control point. Okay, in the cubic curve, as you can remember, we have two control points, one here and another here. In this case, we only have one. And this uh, uh, control point is defined by the coordinates, uh, well, defined by the uh, method set control x and set control y. Okay, so this is a control point, and the, uh, the functionality is the same. Uh, this uh, control point, the more uh, the further this control point is, the the more this curve will be uh, uh, away from the from the bottom of the of, of the of the line from this line. Okay. The more uh, the curve is, it will be this this line. Okay. So this is the functionality, this is how we define the curve, and now let's set the ending point of this curve. Now let's define the control point.
Okay, so now it's time to define this line here. And in order to do that, we're going to use the line to uh, class, line to object. Okay, so now it's time to define another quadratic curve, and it will be this one here. It will end with the, at this point, and the control point will be set uh, around this area. So let's say set the ending point. and then the control point. Okay, so the last shape that we need is this line here. At this point, to this point, which is the starting point of the, of the path. Okay, so now that we have all of our, uh, our four path elements, we need to add them to the path. Okay, so we use get elements. then add all and we are going to start adding those uh, ele path elements in order so first we need to add the starting point okay and then we're going to add uh, a color field to this path element it is important to set a color field in this case and we're going to see why in one second so we're going to use, in this case, white. You can use whatever color you want, but it is important to define one at this point. Okay, and now we need to create these three paths here for these three uh, holes. And we need to be careful with the position and we need to be careful as well with the orientation of this, of this path. And also we need to create the other four paths for the second wheel. We need to take care of the orientation and position as well because we need to get uh, to set these holes over the the other wheel. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, and now that we have added all the remaining uh, holes on the remaining paths for these uh, two wheels, as we can see here, we have hole two, hole three, hole four. Now we need and to subtract these shapes, these five shapes, four holes in the center circle, subtract them from the rim, this silver circle here. And the way we are going to do that is by using the subtract function. Okay, this method, this function, will return a shape, which will be the result of subtracting the second shape from the first shape. So, for example, in this case, we have these two circles. If we would like to sus subtract this uh, second circle from the first circle, and we position this circle in the center of this circle, we're gonna get this circle with a with this uh, with an empty uh, center, like here, like a donut. Okay. 
So that's how this uh, subtract method will work for us. So let's do this for the first wheel. So first we need to define a shape. for the first wheel and then and then we can use the path class and then use the subtract function this function we can uh, place or we can include or we can add uh, another subtract function inside of it because this function will return another shape so we can uh, use that as an advantage and place some subtract function inside of another like the way we're gonna do right now Okay, and there you go. Now with this two lines of code, we're going to subtract five shapes from the ring, the silver circle. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, so now let's do the same but with the second wheel. Okay, so we scroll down. As you can see, we have added all the holes for the second wheel. And here we can do that again. We can define a shape. And do the same. And the last step will be to add these two shapes, these two, two new shapes, to the root mode. So let's do it here. Okay, so now we can execute the application and see how it looks so far. Okay, so as you can see, we have created these two shapes, these two new shapes, by using uh, uh, four paths and circles. Okay, they are in black right now, but we can add some format. We can use uh, another uh, color field or another uh, stroke width if we if we want. Okay, so this is how you can do by using uh, paths and by using uh, operations like subtract. You can create uh, shapes like this or even more complex shapes if you want. Okay, so that's it for today guys and thank you for watching this video. Please don't uh, forget to watch the next video. It will be about colors and gradients. We will add some color to our car, some style. Okay, so please like, subscribe and share and see you next video.